Hey guys, welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a servo bracket that is 3D printed. I'll show you how to put the pieces together and troubleshoot some issues that you may have while you assemble it. I'll also show you some uh, tricks to incorporate the hardware that you already get with your servo to assemble everything together. So let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. First we have the parts as they come off the printer. I've already trimmed this piece, but I'll show you a quick trick that I do to trim these pieces off. First I take my regular cutting blade, and it, you can use a cheap one too, but rather than drag it along, I simply put the blade in place and slide the piece along. And this is just material that's used to help the part adhere to the build surface of your 3D printer. And this is the way that I find is easiest for me to remove. So with those out of the way, the next thing you want to do is take your screwdriver and your two screws that come with your servo. This is a standard 9 gram servo and they're all pretty much the same size. They come with pretty much the same size screws. First you want to take your screw and your screwdriver and you're going to be going through the flat part of the retention bracket. And first you're just going to screw the screw in and all the way and just keep on going. You're going to ream out that hole a little bit. It's a little bit larger than the holes on the main support piece, but uh, that's all you have to do is just free that up a little bit so that you can tighten these down with no issues. And they'll back out pretty easily as well. And next what you're going to want to do is take that same screw or the other screw if you really want to if you really want to, and you're going to just screw it down into the hole. This should be a pretty tight fit. Don't try to go too fast. If you do have too much of an issue where you feel like it's going to break, go ahead and leave it backed out a little bit. And you can take a barbecue lighter, just a couple of seconds to heat it up, and it'll soften the plastic and then put the screw all the way down, okay? Then use your other screw and repeat. Doesn't take a whole lot of heat. Just enough so that you're molding the inside of the plastic to the threads of your screw. Once things are cooled off, and these are, again, we're not using a whole lot of heat, just enough to soften the plastic, not melt it. We back the screws out. And at this time, I'm just going to show you how to fit it, but normally this piece would be glued using hot glue or Gorilla Glue or some other glue into position inside your airplane wherever you want it to be. You can also uh, scratch up the bottom of the surface with some sandpaper, like this, if you want to roughen it up just so it has better adhesion with your glue. So what you're going to do is mount the servo this way, or if the servo arm is turned the other way, you can mount it like that, or you know, you can mount this on the underside of a skin and have it poke through. However you want to mount it or need to mount it, you can and you're going to put it in place and have it butt up all the way against the stands. All right? And there's only one way that this will fit on. And that is with the holes. They're slightly off center. They're going to be pointing toward the top of the servo. And these little tabs are going to bracket around the standoff and the bottom of the servo. It is a pretty tight fit. But once it goes in, it goes in. And that's it. Then, apply your screws. Just like so. And you're done. 
These little tabs will prevent the servo from going backward and apply downward pressure directly on the servo to hold it in place so you never have to worry about it wobbling. But if you ever do strip your servo, it's easy to simply remove these screws and replace the servo. Other than that, this is a pretty straightforward design. I highly recommend printing off this part with a 0.1 millimeter layer height. That's to help with better adhesion. You have more layers to strengthen these, these standoffs right here. I also recommend that you use 100% infill for these standoffs. That again, just gives you more plastic to adhere to and strengthens these posts for when the screws go inside. So my servo retention mechanism I used in the Bugatti build. I used it in the aileron servos and they are really robust. But there were a couple of other things I have to be, have a full disclaimer. Uh, I had a couple of non-ideal prints that I did end up using uh, initially and what I ended up doing was CAing the standoffs back together. Just used a little bit of CA glue and it worked but I didn't feel like it was entirely safe so I went ahead and printed a new one after I had done some adjustments to my 3D printing. So it is a little finicky because it is a very small part but in the end just print another one if you really want to. It's minimal time involved and it should give you some good results. Well that wraps up this build. Appreciate you stopping by the shop today and look forward to seeing likes and comments and lots and lots of videos linked to this video so that I can see what projects you're working on. Look forward to hearing from you. I'm Joshua Orchard. Thanks for stopping by the workshop today.